Welcome back guys. In this lecture we are going to complete the Stripe payment gateway integration process in the Node.js. So as I said the integration process is little bit uh, difficult compared to React.js in Node.js. So we have to write some logic. First of all you have to install the Stripe.js in the npm in our Node.js. npm install Stripe.js. So after installing you have to open that uh, bookings route. So this is the bookings route. I think it's not Stripe JS, it is just Stripe, I think so. NPM I Stripe. Yeah, here you can see it is installed successfully. Now I'm going to write Nodemon server. So along with this uh, Stripe, uh, you have to install one more module which is called as the UUID. It, it will generate the uh, unique uh, transaction ID for every time. UUID. UUID NPM. So you have to install these also. Click on it. Uh, copy it. And paste it here. Press enter. Uh, NPM start. Sorry, it's not NPM start. It's Nodemon server. Nodemon server and here i am going to import both first of all i am going to import stripe uh, const stripe equal to require the first one is stripe and here you just need to pass the uh, two parentheses and in this parenthesis you have to uh, give your secret key so already we have copied the secret key from the stripe so this is the secret key just click on it it is copied and you have uh, here you have to paste so the publishable key is for front end and the secret key is for node.js and then you have to get the object of that uuid so it is having some different format just copy it or you can just directly this is for react and this is for node copy and paste it here so to generate any unique id you just need to write this statement uuid version 4 uh, parenthesis that's it so it will generate an unique ID every time now let's start creating the integration in the back end so already we have the uh, booking room logic in this book room api endpoint so first of all uh, get this down and here i am going to write the logic so first let's add the token in this uh, destructuring object because we are getting token in that same object only token so as it is async function so i am going to write the try catch blocks for the payment as well yeah now i am going to create the one object which is called as the customer so const customer equal to await stripe dot customers dot create so these uh, stripe dot customer dot create accepts two parameters the first one is email so the email is present in the token object you just need to write token dot email and the second object is source so from where you are getting these all these things so we are getting from the token dot id so it is a mandatory things source is equal to not this source source is equal to token dot id it's not underscore id it's just normal id so we have created the customer so it's a cu customer so then we have to charge it so now i am going to create charge for this customer const payment so we are going to charge the payment payment is equal to same await stripe dot stripe or stripe dot charges so stripe dot we have to charge charges dot create so in this we have to pass some parameters for charging the uh, amount 
so here the create function takes two parameters the first one is payment details and the second one is uh, unique id so for every transaction we need one unique id so a customer cannot be charged twice so first i will write this unique id and in the stripe payment gateway integration the unique id is denoted by item potency key item potency key i think the spelling is correct or not yeah it is correct only so we are going to generate this item potency key from the uuid because every time it should be unique so a customer cannot be charged twice so this is the topic of adding this item potency key and here uh, in this so we have used two curly braces yeah in the first object we are going to add the details so first i am going to add amount amount equal to so already we are having this total amount object so total amount into 100 because as i said it will take the sense format and the second one is customer so you just need to write customer is equal to so already we are having the customer object at the top customer dot id so after creating these uh, customers you will get one id so it will return one id to this customer so that's the reason you have to use customer dot id so here i am not using any my own logic it is according to the stripe documentation only so you have to write like this and one more thing is uh, let's see uh, currency 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 must be inr and the last one is receipt email so if you are using the uh, live version the customer should receive the email so to which email the receipt should be sent receipt underscore email so it should be token dot email so with the email which we are entering in the pop-up token dot email that's it guys so here it will charge the customer so we are getting an error here uh, this is extra curly brace yeah that's it now i am going to write if sorry you need not to write if so already it is in the try block so if it is having any error automatically it goes to the catch block so if everything is success it will send the response as response dot send payment successful payment successful payment successful your room is booked room is booked control s else if it is having any error response dot error same you just need to send direct error only and here you have to copy all this logic and you just you just need to paste it in this try block because if the payment is success then only you have to process the booking room so create i'm going to write if payment if payment is success so even though it is in dry block i'm going to write if payment is equal to success so in the if block i'm going to write all the previous code try all these things so up to catch yeah up to catch copy everything and paste it in the if condition so it's a little bit confusing but you have to do like this only control s so i think we have did everything just format the document to structure the code so i will explain everything if our uh, booking is successful because first time we will face lots of errors that's a common thing so let's see we have did everything refresh the page pay now loading let's open the console network yeah so i'm going to write email as some different email so because you need to understand the payment is success or not so i'm going to write the email as john123 at the rate gmail.com and i will write values all four twos and here uh, one two uh, two three uh, cv is equal to one two three just click on uh, pay button so amount is here you can see you have to remember it because we need to verify it in the stripe after payment successful so you just need to click on pay 
so first time we will get the error that's a common thing i think we didn't got the error <laughs> room booked successfully wow what a miracle let's see no 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 already we got the error in the back end so i think that message is from the booking room it's not from the stripe so already we uh, we got the error uh trigger cannot set headers what is this error trigger uncaught exception i didn't understand the uh, error let's see open the stripe and check whether we got the 5400 payment or not let's go to the payments here we go we got the 5400 payment so let's see which room you have booked capital o15959 uh, 24 to 26 let's open mongodb refresh the page here you can see guys the room is booked uh, i think uh, with the help we uh, i think we have written the nested try catch blocks there's a reason it is throwing an error so it's not an actual error uh, our room is booked successfully and uh, where it is mongodb yeah so here you can see from 24 to 26 total amount is equal to 5400 total days is equal to 3 so everything is success and the booked room is capital o 15959 let's go to the rooms so in the rooms also you should get that object where is capital o so this is the first one current bookings here you can see we got the object so we got the booking id everything so in the from date we are getting an error here you can see so in the from date we are getting some different format 246 uh, what the hell is this let's see the last one here also you can see so so, so leave it about this so this is the dates uh, section so we are going to discuss it later so here the transaction is getting successed so and the amount is also going to this stripe so you just need i will remove these uh, nested try catch blocks remove here here also remove yeah remove this statement uh, yeah if payment is success we are going to throw we are going to book the room and if it is everything is success it will show the message payment successful so now let's see let's book one more time and I will, this time i will book this oyo80211 you know button sorry it's not you know it is book now so select some date uh, 23 to 26 i'll book this oyo80211 pay now so enter the details uh, this time i will edit shravan at the rate gmail.com card number is equal to one two three sorry not one two three all four two four two four two here uh, 12 24 here one two three click on pay now payment is processed so here you can see yeah now you can see we got payment successful your room is booked so if you open node.js also there is no error that means the payment is successful so the payment here you can see 6400 i'm going to refresh the page so you should able to see 6400 boom here you can see 6400 so the payment gateway integration is success so now let's see we are having one error in the date so it is storing the invalid uh, from date format so if i open mongodb and if i refresh so in the current bookings it is showing invalid date form it is showing the correct uh, date to date only but in the from date it is having some invalid 24 6 uh, what is this minus plus all this stuff 
let's check and i will check and i will get back to you let's see haha <laughs> here you can see guys so while adding the current bookings to the respected room <laughs> i have given some different formats so that's the written it is uh, adding like this so just add y y y y control s that's it so it is not a error just it's a spelling mistake so now let's delete all the stuff in the mongodb except rooms so remove all bookings So if you do not have that error, you can keep it because I have the error. So while filtering, I may face the problems. So I will remove the current bookings also. So you just need to click on this edit button and here you need to click on into, then you need to update it. So that will be deleted. Now the current bookings is empty. Here also I will do the same thing. Uh, current bookings update. Now uh, current bookings, uh, where it is, remove, update. Yeah, now we do not have any current bookings. So now let's book one fresh room. So click on this uh, date, I am going to select 18 to 19. So remember the name Satya and here you can say I am going to click on book now. Now I'm going to click on pay now, enter valid details. So I'm going to enter my details only satya at the rate gmail.com and for to all four twos here uh, one, two, three, one, two, two, three, one, two, three and click on pay now button. The amount is 3600 and open the network. So in the next lecture, I will add the loading and the success of all those things. Uh, here it is open console ma not page source console inspect open network so i think it is processed already let's see in the mongodb let's open bookings yeah here you can see booking 18 to 19 with the name satya so everything is success and we got the user id let's open the rooms so we have booked the first room let's open current bookings so if you see now the dates are success from to date everything is success now let's open mongo uh, that stripe so i think i have closed that stripe so did you remember the amount i didn't i think 3600 uh, yeah 3600 uh, where is it dashboard La 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 open payments three thousand six hundred should be present here you can see three thousand six hundred so everything is success thank you guys in the next lecture we are going to add that loading icons success pop-up if the room is booked all those things thank you